Hey everybody, it's me, Rey Mysterio. And me, Bobby Heenan. Welcome to Rey Mysterio's Mystery Murders Episode 2. Before we cut to the title scene, I would just like to say that the murderer in the last episode was Chris Jericho. So well done if you got that right. But everybody, thank you for coming in because we got a lot of comments. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, this is Rey Mysterio's Mystery Murders, and this is Hornswoggle Boys. <laughs> And today's episode of Rey Mysterious Mystery Murders is sponsored by the Chocolate Fire Guard Association. I will now hand over to Bobby Heenan, my co-host, and he will explain the rules of the game. Thanks, Ray. Uh, so now I'm just going to quickly go through uh, how it actually works here so that you can play along at home. So basically, you can see on the table here there are some weapons. Uh, we got a chair, we got a nunchuck, we got a sword, uh, another bladed weapon, and two pull cues, I believe they're called. I Sorry if I got so. that wrong. Stick thingies. Yeah, basically just some pieces of wood. Um, and then we have the players, which are set around the edge of this table here. <laughs> Ironically, yep. Edge. Oh yeah, Edge, who was uh, murdered last time, but as it's all pretend, he's still with us. So Edge, edge. Um, did you see it coming that it was going to be Chris Jericho? Uh, no, I had no idea. Right, okay. Well, that was short and snappy. Uh, yep, so basically anyone can kill anybody, but it was only going to be one killing. And you have to work out who killed who with what weapon. And as an added little feature, which we had last time as well, uh, we have Hardy Cam, which is from Matt and Jeff's view, what they can see when this is all going on. Okay, so let's play. How's the camera, Matt? Yeah, it looks good, you. Yeah. It's looking good. Mm. Good. Alright. How you doing, Dwayne? Yeah, I'm not bad, yeah. It's been a good day. Mm, good party. cold. <laughs> Big cold. Nice beverages. Yeah. Feeling a bit nervous. You know, could be killed. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Because this is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I've got lots of money, you know. Really? Yeah, I've got a briefcase full of it. Hmm. That's very interesting, bro. Yeah. Oh, what the hell was that, man? Hey, can you see anything? Oh, you just touched my leg. Ah! Get off me! No, we were sat over here the whole time. The briefcase was empty. All the money's gone. That means it's in somebody's pockets. I wonder who killed my man. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, we've just watched the footage back and it's not very revealing. Can't see much, can we? Uh, is there anything you'd like to add to what you, you know, felt or saw? Because, you know... It's not very revealing, so you might have some more information, like about feeling or smell or sense or something that might help. Some kind of sixth sense. I, I was picking up some bad vibes here. Yeah. Um, I felt uh, kind of the, the force of some sort of weapon, like once it struck. Uh, I think it was a word, I'm not sure. What about you, Jeff? Well, I could have sworn I felt something touch my leg. It could have been the chair just as well, but I, I, I don't know, I really don't know. What were you saying, Jeff? I feel something touch my leg. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, it felt pretty solid and it was kind of, I don't know, thinking about it in that, made out of wood. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so on examination of the body, we have severe wounds to the head, and that's it. And of course, all the money is gone. So obviously, it's in one of the players' pockets. Also, he was um, he was around that side of the table over there. Um, but he he ran must have ran or something around this side of the table because he was kind of laying in this position. Yeah, guarding his briefcase. He was sat next to Zach, I believe. Yeah. And we have this next to Christian. And also we have uh, the the other one of those just there above his head okay. there. And also the uh, any weapons missing? Things. They've all been moved around on the table, as you can see. I, it might have been from the struggle between McMahon and the killer. Yeah, or possibly even killers. We we don't know at this point. No. All right, let's go around and interview everybody else. So, so uh, yeah, Carly, yeah. what what did you see and feel in the kind of incident? Um, nothing. It just went dark. You went in here. I heard a few, like, kind of, I think it was Help Me, I think he said, I can't really remember. Yeah. But I'm pr he definitely moved because he was sat over there before and now he's by Matt and Jeff. So. Yeah, yeah. What was your relationship with Mr. man? He was my boss. Yeah, is, it, is that it? Or did you have anything else? No. no good would, friends? Not really. Okay. Uh, Dwayne, or, or The Rock as you like to be referred to. Yes? Um, well, you know, what, what did you feel and, and see or whatever? Tell us anything that might help. Uh, any clues that you might have? I, you know, I, I didn't really feel anything. I think he, if he got over there, he must have run around the other side of the table. Wait, hold on. Can you explain that in more detail, please? I, I didn't feel him go past me. So, to have gotten where he is now, Sorry. he must have gone around the other side of the table. So, instead of going straight past you guys, you think he went this way? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That so to be... that means to have been pulled out of his seat, I believe it must be someone on the other side of the room. Why do you believe that? Because I didn't feel anyone walk past me. I suppose. That is true. Do you agree with that statement, Shelton? I do indeed. Yeah. I felt nothing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely nothing. Right. Zach, how you feeling? I'm a little shaken up, to admit, bro. Sorry, I'm a little shaken up. Uh... We, me and Christian here. Yeah, I've, I've got this weapon on my leg still, which must have been thrown at me or something. Mm. I think someone's probably trying to discourse yeah. you guys, you know, trying to make it look like it was Christian when it was actually someone else. Yeah, right. I mean, I wouldn't leave it in my lap, surely. I'm afraid everyone's a suspect at this time, so. Of course, yeah. But do you have anything you can tell us? Not really. It went dark. Um, actually, I did feel a bit of a struggle by my side. Yeah, and I thought was. this, um, I don't know, it must have got pushed across the table or something and it fell on my lap. So, so wait, so say that again, something fell on your lap, Christian? Yeah, this, this pull cue thing, whatever right. it's called. I'm pretty sure McMahon was, uh, pulled away across us. Yeah, and from then someone over there. was a brawl across the table. Okay. Brutus, do you have any information you can tell us at this time? Not really, uh, all I felt was, I felt the murderers or murderer, whatever the case may be, uh, come past me, and uh, that, that's all I felt. I, I, I almost tripped him up actually with my leg. So they might have a bit of a bad ankle if, if you ask around. Someone might be a bit injured and that could give you a chance to figure out who the murderer is. All right, thank you. Randy? Uh, well, I'm still recovering from a, an ankle injury anyway, uh, because, you know, I, I go to the gym a lot. As we all do, and uh, I, I was, you know, I accidentally injured myself there. Uh, so. What? You're saying you got a bad ankle at the gym? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, and also, I, I'd like to say, I, I didn't feel anything at all. I, I reckon what Dwayne and Shelton's saying is true, but the other way around. I think they went around the other side of the table, so they must be from their side. So you think it may be who? I think it's either Dwayne or Shelton. Dwayne or Shelton, eh? Maybe Carly, but I don't know. Finally, of course, we have Edge. Yeah, so uh, Edge, you have some experience of being murdered. Um, and you as I know now, you you know who your murderer was. Any hints and tips for us? Um, you know, I, I just wasn't expecting it to be Chris Jericho. Uh, it, it didn't feel like him or anything in the dark. I just, I had no idea, so... You know, expect the unexpected. Okay, thanks very much. Well, it's almost the end of the show, and we've given you all the information we could gather from the crime scene. Now, it's time for you to decide who you think it was, by commenting in your vote. Was it the Hardys? Edge? Randy Orton? The Great Kali? The Rock? Shelton Benjamin? 
Zack Ryder. Christian. Brutal Survivor Beefcake. Or maybe it was a suicide. And for extra points, please comment in which weapon you think they used. Was it A, the chair? B, a knife? C, a sword? D, nunchuck? Or E? Pool cube. P pool yeah. cube. Stick. Pool thing. cube. Piece of wood. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and we will reveal who the murderer was in the next episode. Remember, comment in your vote.